Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, add lighting real quick um, as a part three to this. Now, if you go and select this lit mode, you can see you don't have any real lights here. You have some emissive lights, but they don't cast any real light. They just kind of, um, they make more like a haze around it, but they don't actually cast any light. So, that's wireframe, sorry I didn't mean that. Um, so let's just add a really basic light here. If you press and hold down your L key and left click, and then uh, press spacebar until you get the movement widget if you don't already have it. Now you can see uh, by going back to uh, lit, this is a light. Um, let's just raise it up a bit. You can really see it now. And right now it's acting as a dynamic light until we rebuild lighting, which we haven't done yet. So let's just bring this up here a bit. Uh, this circle here is a it shows the radius so it shows how far the light is casting now you'll notice uh i'll, I'll go ahead and deselect it for a second you'll notice look at this it's lighting up the room really well but the mesh still is dark except for those emissive channels so let's go ahead and rebuild lighting real quick you can do that by pressing the build lighting button and then you can uh, change these around if you want, but let's go ahead and just leave them as default and click OK. So this will take just a second. Then it'll give me uh, the map check real quick. Uh, brush one has no ma no material references. That's because we didn't change the texture on this, so that'll be fine for now. And then we don't have any paths, so we can ignore that. So, but you'll notice this is still black. So if we click on our mesh and then press F4. Uh, that's our properties window. Window. You can also you can also get to this by right clicking in it and going to properties, uh, wherever it is. No, I'm really lost. Uh, oh, here it is. Properties. Okay. Now, what you need to do is go to interp actor. Never mind. Dynamic s actor. Light environment. Light environment component, and then check enabled. Now. Uh, before it'll update, sometimes you have to click on it. And I'll deselect now real quick. Now you can see it has full lighting. Uh, you can, if, if we go back into this again here, except now go into static mesh component uh, and go to lighting and advanced lighting, you have a huge amount of options for lighting. Um, but one thing that I want to do is turn on BSP lighting and static lighting and sometimes these will turn back off once you rebuild lighting. Uh, sometimes they'll turn off after you rebuild lighting, but this time they turned on or stayed on, so that'll be fine. Uh, and what this makes it do now is um, you actually have full lighting. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Full lighting even in the matinee. So here's this, and you can see it still has full lighting. It's still casting shadows as we move it along here, and that's all from this one light here. So for now though, uh, until the next tutorial, let's go ahead and turn that back off. And I haven't been doing this on camera, but um, let's go ahead and save that also. Uh, it's important to save frequently because you never know when the editor is going to crash um, and you'll lose all your work. So I named it uh, tutorial one. It, it doesn't really matter what you name it, just as long as you, you have it saved at some point. Otherwise you could lose a lot of work. So that's it for this uh, really simple lighting tutorial for um, basic movement, and that's it for the basic basic movement uh, tutorial altogether. Um, so after this, we'll be moving to skeletal mesh movement. So that'll be, I think, a little bit more exciting, maybe. Um, one thing, though, I wanted to mention, though, is you'd be really surprised, I think, at how much you can actually use this. So I'm going to go and... Uh, oh, this might take a second, but I'm going to rush and try to find... Um, some actual levels that come with the game here and this will give you an opportunity to see these also. I forgot to mention with the other video um, if you're running XP all this will be in program files not uh, not x86 so it's just one of the many things that switched over from uh, XP to Vista and I completely forgot where the maps are so I'm just going to cheat a little bit here Here we go. Um, and this might not be all of them, but it's some of them at least. So, uh, it's an UT game, cooked PC, maps. And 
I'll just pick one here. Uh, hoping that I'll find one that has a good example of a lift or something. Uh, I think carbon does. So anytime that you have an elevator or like a, a light moving around in the scene or anything like that, that's usually usually just basic mesh movement like this. So it's just a static mesh. See here, here we go. This elevator. Uh, let, I'll go ahead and play a game for a second, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, might take a second though. Or six. Or a few more seconds. Here we go. Okay. As soon as I get on top of it, volume I guess a little bit. As soon as I get on top of it, uh, it starts going up, right? Um. See, so it's just an elevator there, and I know that there's a few doors in this level. I think, or uh, I know one door at least. Um, and then there's a whole other lift around the corner there. Um, no, not this one. Here's a lift. Right. Now I'm going to show you here. If I left click on this, you can find anything in Kismet by going to uh, find in Kismet wherever it is. Where is it? it? Try that. No, that's not it. Hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, there is a way to do it. I just don't remember what it is for now. So I'm going to go find it. Um, okay. So the way that they have it set up is the level starts up, then it goes over and let's just see what this one is here. Okay, so not let's not do that one then. Um, ah, I'm trying to find a good example here that's just really easy to show. Okay, here here's the elevator then. You can see here's the matinee sequence, and all that happens is as time goes forward, they have that lift go up. So then, and that's their movement track here. So they do have a soundtrack, two soundtracks and an event track, but we're not going to go over those right now. Uh, those will be all in separate tutorials. Um, so just like I said, the movement track, you can see here's their um, keyframes, just like I showed you, and they have it all linear. And they don't have a uh, quad interpolation on, so I'm just curious to see what would happen if I turn that on. Okay, you can see at the very end here it doesn't turn at all with it off. I believe it. No, it still doesn't. Never mind. I'm sorry. I feel like an idiot now, but then it goes back down. So, anyways, uh, that's a pretty simple and common use um, for something like this. So you can see, uh, and they, they really can get really complex. Uh, as you can see from this Kismet sequence, how much stuff goes on just for that elevator to go up. So, you get the idea. I'm going to go on back to the uh, tutorial now. And no, I don't want to save changes. Make sure if you ever go into an uh, actual official map, never change anything and then save changes. But anyway, so that's the end of this uh, basic tutorial here then. And again, like I said, that ends the basic mesh movement tutorials.